Hey friends, I saw a quote this morning about staying present. And what it says is, stay present in the moment. This is me paraphrasing. The practice of staying present in the moment will heal you. Moving past it will do nothing but cause anxiety. Here's what I want to jump in today. I know that we've been talking about this whole thing about moving forward, pursuing your dream, and stepping out of your comfort zone. Well, guess what? That's not going to stop. But there's something you got to know that in those painful moments, which we all experience, where we have this vision, but it hasn't transpired, and we're still trying to figure out, well, what do I do right now? You know those moments. Well, maybe you don't, but I do. What I've discovered is that in those moments is the greatest opportunity for me to excel or digress. The way to excel has to first be looked at with the idea of digressing first. If we were to digress, what it looks like is this. Frustration, pain, horrible imagination, not controlling our thinking, experiencing all sorts of things, responding, uh, reacting when trauma comes our way and frustration. We all know what that feels like. I just want to leave you today with this idea that staying present is where you'll find your healing. Why? Because it's in the moment, maybe not the moment that we're in, when we're feeling what we're feeling, because that is derived from fear. That's derived from the fear of what's not known. But instead, taking a moment to get quieter, to get present to what we're feeling, acknowledge it for what it is, because we feel it, but it doesn't make it true. And because it doesn't make it true, then that gives us the opportunity to figure out, all right, so what do I want to feel? And then tapping into that. Well, I want to feel free. I want to feel vibrant. I want to feel healthy. I want to feel wealthy. I want to feel all of those things. I want to feel really the freedom to do whatever it is I want to do. Now, granted, the situation at hand may not allow you to actually do it. But there's nothing stopping you from tapping into your imagination on the other side. We often forget that we've been using our imagination to imagine the worst things ever. But it's that same source that can allow us to access something real possible. But there's a difference. I believe it was in the Tao Te Ching. They said hope and fear come from the same source, nothingness. But your vision, however, what you've written down, what you've articulated about where you're headed, that's Something very different. That's something you've began to strategize for, plan for, work towards, and begin moving in the direction of. And those moments when you find when you find yourself frozen, fear ridden, and locked, go back to the vision. Read it. Imagine it. Breathe it. And if it was your vision and it wasn't just some fanciful idea. You know, fanciful meaning nothing to do with you, but really something just to be known. But really, something to do with you coming from that place. Bask in it. Be present in it. Because if you remember, it was in that moment when it hit you real time that you derived everything you began pursuing. And that's still possible. This is Marquise Martin Hayes. This is your Monday moment. Peace.